This video is about how carbohydrates, specifically starch, is digested um, into a smaller soluble molecule that can be absorbed into the blood. Generally a three st uh, step process, start off with uh, amylose, which is starch, uh, one form of starch, digested to maltose, which is digested to glucose. And glucose is then absorbed into the blood. So break it down. Um, so starch, um, which is in uh, often carbohydrate rich food like bread, pasta, uh, rice, the starch is too big to be absorbed directly. So we need to break it down. So amylase is the first enzyme that does this. So amylase is made either in the saliva gland or the pancreas, it's made in both, um, digest starch into maltose. So by digest we mean it hydrolyzes the glycosidic bonds in starch to form the lots of the dipeptides maltose. Where does this digestion take place? Well, the amylase that was produced in the saliva gland, um, so the digestion occurs in the mouth, and starch is also digested in the small intestine, so the amylase that was made in the pancreas is secreted into the small intestine. Maltose, as a sugar, still cannot be absorbed into the blood, so this needs to be broken down even further. So maltase is the enzyme. It's produced by the epithelial cells that line the small intestine. So the maltase hydrolyzes the glycosidic bond that exists between the two glucose monomers. So for every maltose, you produce two glucose monomers. Where does this happen? Well, maltase is an example of an enzyme that's it's a membrane-bound enzyme, so it's found in the membrane of the epithelial cells in the small intestine. So that occurs on the lining of the small intestine, on the epithelial cell of the small intestine. Maltose is broken down into glucose. Glucose is then ready to be absorbed into the blood. So here we've got an overview. Starch to maltose by amylase, that occurs in the mouth and the small intestine. Maltose is hydrolyzed to glucose by maltase, that occurs on the membrane of the small intestine. So how is glucose absorbed? So glucose is found in the lumen of the small intestine. This purple shaped structure is an epithelial cell. So the maltase enzymes are also found in this, this membrane of the epithelial cell. So we need to have an adaptation to absorb glucose because otherwise not enough glucose would be absorbed into blood. If we just relied on facilitated diffusion alone, then you'd end up reaching a point of equilibrium. So we need to be able to absorb more glucose than that. So we use a more uh, sophisticated method that's more efficient. So first of all, it involves sodium ions being actively transported out of the epithelial cell into the blood. This creates a low concentration of sodium ions inside the epithelial cell. So sodium ions want to diffuse down their concentration gradient from the lumen of the small intestine into the epithelial cell. Now we can use a co-transport protein and we can use that to bring glucose with the sodium ions. So sodium ions move down their concentration gradient and they bring glucose with, with it. So glucose is going against the concentration gradient without using ATP because the sodium ion is carrying the glucose with it. So now we end up with a high concentration of glucose inside the epithelial cell. So glucose can move by facilitated diffusion into the blood through a channel protein. And here are the mark points for a long answer question on that. Each mark point separated by a semicolon. 